Hello and welcome. Welcome to my new gaming only channel. Um, and this is going to be our first video on this channel. So we're going back to an oldie. Uh, this is one of my um, kind of favorite games from the past. Uh, Farming Simulator 19. And uh, we're going to be doing a bit of a let's play. Going back to a little bit of our roots. Um, so before we kick off, I'd just like to say if you like the video, uh, please hit the like button. And please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon. Uh, that will basically allow you to get notified when we post new content. And uh, let's get kicked off. So we are in Farming Sim 19. And we are playing on the Fenton Forest Farm map by Stevie. And um, we're going to basically start off by playing uh, and sort of kicking off the farm here. Um, this is... Let's get into this thing and um, let's get started. So we are basically starting off with a fixed amount of money. Uh, we have no uh, vehicles, no farm. We are running in the farm manager uh, mode. So essentially we started off with nothing but some cash. And we're going to build up our farm. Uh, we have zero vehicles. Um, and so we've got to buy everything we need. Uh, we also have to buy our land. Um, so what we are going to do is head back to the farm. Um, we ju essentially just bought this Land Rover. Uh, this is kind of my old favourite Land Rover Defender. Um, used to love this in Farming Sim 17. Um, and we are back in Farming Sim 19 with the uh, Landy. Um, so let's give this a bit of a run. So what we're going to do is going to head back to the farm. This is the Fenton Forest 4X map by Stevie. Um, we've got all of the Stevie's mods installed. We have Seasons installed. We have the Precision Farming mod installed. Uh, we also have the Manure System mod installed. Um, we've got Courseplay installed and a couple of others. Um, we will basically be using um, Courseplay for a lot of the... Oops. driving so the kind of the way I want to run this this let's play um, we're going to kind of run this more as a farm manager than an actual as doing all the work um, the idea is we will uh, basically spend time building um, plan and getting stuff running farmed um, ticking over making money uh, we also have production capabilities on this map so there's global company um, installed so we can uh, think of uh, areas like this um, a bit of land here where we can plop down um, production we will so we'll probably buy this um, bit of land and we'll um, we'll uh, pop some production down on here um, we won't I'm not sure if we'll do much forestry on this map um, haven't quite decided yet um, I do need to check a couple of settings when we get back to the farm. Um, I've got a funny feeling I've turned the braking off and so on. So we'll also possibly get this plot of land here as well, we're passing, uh, for building on. Um, so I've played the... I played far, um, Farming Sim 19 a couple of years ago now. It's been a while since I played. Um, and I played this map, but the smaller version of the map, not the 4X version. Um, so this is the first time playing the 4X version of this map. So here we are at the farm. <coughs> we, as I say, we don't own the farm yet. We do have to buy the farm. We have to buy some mati um, uh, machinery. And what we'll do... is we will um, we will set things up 
Um, so we basically prepare, prepare one of the fields now. Um, right, I'm trying to think of the plan here. What we'll do is uh, we will kind of set up uh, one of the the fields to get prepped. We'll run through some planting options at some point and then we'll basically kind of um, I didn't turn it off I, so I keep forgetting to do this automatic engine start needs to be off and stop go braking, braking needs to be off um, yeah. kind of just a bit of a thing so we are here um, what we're going to do is we haven't purchased any land yet um so let's let's go ahead and get that done first um so we will purchase obviously we need the farm so we need to purchase this bit of land here and we will also purchase some other bits so when i played this previously obviously i had this tract of land this field 43 didn't exist back then so um, i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it um we i had field three and field five when i played the smaller version of the map so these fields here like 21 22 and so on these didn't exist this was um i actually created one big field out of two three and five now what i plan to do i don't plan to do that this time um but what i will do is um i will purchase these fields because um, these are kind of good fields to have. So we'll purchase these. They're not too expensive. Um, the other thing is that I had field 8. And I used field 8 for uh, grass. Now, the thing about field 8 in the old version is we can see there's a bit of a road here going through this land. What I actually did was I made a custom course play field size, which um, took all of this land here and included it in the grass and i used it for grass um as a grass field so um i may do that again um i may not i'm not sure yet i haven't quite decided because it's now more of a square field um and it's a bit essentially you lose a bit of the the space uh, so we might not necessarily be able to do kind of the uh extend things out as much as possible i need to check out that field and we'll, we won't buy that just yet i am going to buy field 22 it's a nice big field nice big square field and it'll be a great crop field it's pretty pretty expensive but we have the money and i think it will make money for us so i think for the moment these are the fields we're going to buy we'll probably buy extra fields later on um what I think we will probably end up doing is we might buy some of these fields over these big uh, fields on this side. Um, maybe 23 because it's down here. Um, this great big plot of land here looks interesting. Um, I'm not sure what's over here. I might take a trip over there at some point. We can check it out when we get stuff going. The thing is, I'm going to buy these plots. So this plot here with a little um, sort of building... Um, such a production space land um this is a good one because you get two pieces one over by the port and one over here so i'm going to buy that and then i'm going to buy this one the one that we did a little drive through um again not too expensive but they could be useful um we're not using the bga well we may use the bga um kind of wondering if we're going to buy that basically that's 85k um, for the moment, we're not going to buy it. We want to get some stuff started, and then we can go and, and look at basically putting the, things like the BGA into play. So we need vehicles. So let's get some vehicles. So I'm not going to uh, drive the vehicles from the from the shop. Um, what I'm going to do is basically buy them and transport them down. Um, we are going to basically kind of work on this process. A uh, farm manager. Um, I'm going to try and do. Some of the work myself, but most of the work is going to get done by uh, course play and bots and stuff in the AI. So what I'm looking for 
is kind of my favorite vehicle. Um, I think I passed it actually. So I like the uh, Challenges uh, series tank, um, not tanks, but um, tractors. Um, kind of use this one. I'm going to do it in a nice matte black. Standard wheel setup, top engine setup. Um, what we're going to do is going to buy two of these. These are tractors I'm going to use for plowing and cultivating. Um, then we're also going to buy. I'm going to buy two Massey Ferguson 8700s. These are what I'm going to use for cedar and kind of um, manure and fertilizer, that sort of stuff. Um, so we're going to use that. I'm going to purchase one of those. We're going to use the cedar wide tires and weights. And that's, yeah, let's use wide tires and weights, top engine setup, so we get 400 horsepower. I'll buy two of those. And the other thing we're going to do, and I'm not going to actually do that just yet, but um, we will need to and i think we're going to do this we're going to use the because we've got the position farming dlc installed um we're going to use that we're going to do some of the stuff around that in the in the series so we'll have the uh gps technology thing installed um I'm not sure how that's going to work yet we are going to do the soil sampling but we're probably not going to do that in this episode we'll do that in a later episode um what we'll do with that is I'll buy some equipment and we'll, we'll basically do that and have a look at that in a bit more detail. But for the moment, we're going to basically do our um, initial field, field prep. So what I'm going to do is I'm buying a couple of things. Um, so we're going to buy a subsoiler so we can do um, the plowing stroke cultivation of a field. Um, we will use the big one. This one here, um, this is going to be used on one of those challenges. And I'm going to use this slightly smaller one, the uh, Tiger 10. Um, that will basically get used again on one of those challenges. And then we're going to get a cedar. So we've got a cedar ready. Uh, the cedar we're going to go for. So I like the Pronto 9. That's one of the ones I like. Uh, it's kind of one of my go-to cedars. One of the things I'm using is I'm going to use a, the Stevie versions of a lot of these mods, um, partly as they um, are built for this map. So I kind of want to make sure I use the right mod for the map. So we've got this. Uh, we've got two options. We've got this Pronto 9. Uh, and then I'm just checking to see what else we've got. Pronto 9 DC, what's the difference between that and that? Not different. Oh, it's good alfalfa. Should I, let's go with a solitaire. So the solitaire's got a wider uh, working distance. Um, it's 12 meters versus nine. We, I don't think we'll use the Great Plains. We might use the Great Plains. Um, I'm not sure that does a lot. But I want one that does fertilizer as well. Just between that one. Okay, we'll go with this one. So I'm going to change the color on this because I don't like that blue it's quite disgusting um, I'm going to leave that so we'll do wide tire wheel setup we'll do the extended capacity as well um, and then we will buy that so we've got um, a, a bunch of equipment now so, we, so we're kind of ready we will um, just 
head into the map. Let's zoom in here. Let's move these. Let's reset these down to the uh, the farmyard. Kind of, I say, kind of working on this premise of. Um, having them delivered. So we will, so we might pick up some stuff, but basically I think, um, last one, so that's all there. It's all the, the, the map, we've got our fields. What we're going to do first, I think we're going to set up uh, one of the um, tractors doing field one and another one doing field two. So let's get in. So we want the bigger one of the two. head to field one get this sorted so quite a, quite a straightforward sort of thing we've kind of got um, got the help up at the moment because I'm just at the moment uh, I say it's been a long while it's been over well over a year actually since I've done any farming soon gameplay of any sort um, streamed or um, kind of thing so kind of a bit rusty so my driving's going to be crap um, don't know anything else I do remember some stuff which is good course play hasn't changed that much which is great so course play set up we set the field we don't need a headland because this is a square field and there's a lot of space at the end. Uh, location on the map will start from southwest down here. Uh, we have a working width that's right. Um, we just need to generate. Uh, that will work and do our job. Uh, let's go back. Let's get this saved. Start course at first wage point. Call this field one. Bolt plow. Um, I'll do the 18 meter one because it is the 18 meter one. Um, let's start the course off. We'll let that get going and we'll head back to the, the yard. Um, heading through so this little field here this is new to this map um not sure what we'll do with it these are the, the silage on the farm the silage that we have uh, manure liquid and um otherwise not sure what the deal is with this to be honest it might be just sale i i don't know we also have these, which are, um, I guess these are passive income. We fill them with manure and water, and they will do things. Um, we will also we also have some cell points and and workshop. I think I'm not sure what this is fuel. Um, But we've got thing. Obviously, we've got the the sheep, the horses, uh, the cows, and the chickens on the farm. Now, I'm not sure what we'll do with those yet. Obviously, they all have animal husbandry stuff. We kind of got to look at. Um, but we'll do that in a different episode, I think. So this is the first episode. Let's get some initial groundwork done on the farm, then we can start doing so. We'll talk about. Um, what we will do. Yeah. 
we will basically, as I say, we've got seasons installed. So seasons controls um, what we can do on the old planting and harvesting front. Um, changes the changes the weather for us and all that kind of stuff. So we are actually, I do need to validate actually, and I'll do that in a minute. Um, we will set this one off. So this one's going to do field two. Um, set this off. Should be fairly easy. Uh, field work, course gen, two, southwest, generate, uh, fairly straightforward. It's great. First one, uh, field two, right now. I don't remember what size this is, I didn't pay attention when I started this, so, um, so let's kind of let that get on. So, in terms of seasons, so we have, I do need to change the season length, it's at set nine days, we're going to do a three day season, uh, that way we don't have too many game days uh, to work through to actually get stuff done. I may change the season length as the series goes on. When we get more and more fields, we have less and less time to prepare the fields, um, which kind of pump, comes part of the challenge, actually. But um, I think for the moment, we'll stick with a three-day season. Uh, so we are in spring. We can plant on this season uh, wheat, barley, oats, canola oil, uh, or canola, uh, potato, sugar beet, um, soybeans and sunflowers and corn uh, obviously grass popular and obviously radish and um, we can do uh, alfalfa we can do as well and sorghum we can't plant sugarcane and we can't plant co uh, cotton i think that's because we don't have the the um, temperatures and uh, let's say seasons but like the season parameters set up for for that for that for that crop so for the moment we're going to just stick with the kind of the populars uh what i'm going to do uh, i think i've had an idea what i'm going to do that field 43 is i'm going to put popular trees on it um and just grow those that would be good the trees take a long time to to mature um so yeah we'll plant the we'll plant the trees and then we'll see what we can do um, animal husbandry, we've got all of the animals, um, we're not, we haven't got anything in play yet, we need to get some crops and stuff in place, so silage and, and, and grass and TMR made and, uh, and all those kind of things, we need to have some of those in stock before we actually kick off uh, with that sort of stuff. Um, so they will come much later I think. Um, we can't grow any of these things so um yeah we'll see how that's that's good um let's 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 have a look at this um in terms of things like global company we've got no factories installed so we can't really do anything on that front um so yeah we're kind of we're kind of okay on there so that's running um it's kind of just hook up the cedar uh, we will need to get some seed i think because obviously this will have nothing in it and uh, we need seed and fertilizer so one of the things i need to do uh, is figure out Where I get some of that from actually, because that one I have no idea. Um, so what we'll do is we'll pop, we'll pop this over here actually, just out of the way. Um, just kind of keeping part here for the moment. And then that will basically do that. So 
and we've got one tractor left. Um, we'll probably get another cedar. Um, I haven't quite decided what we're going to do there. So, a couple of little um, things I want to sort of get set up. So, we we have this position farming mod. I think it's probably a good idea to get one of these. This is the base station that gives the better GPS signal, so we could get that. Um, or we could go for the little standalone ones. I think I'm going to do this um, and then basically pop this down. Just find a nice little spot somewhere, somewhere like around here. We've got a little island of um, thing. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, wind, a couple of wind turbines down. So the wind turbine should give us some passive income. Um, where are we? So we should be able to pop, um, not down there on the road, but a couple in this woodland here. It's a bit of dead space that we're not really using. By the side of the road, we can we can use it. We can benefit it from it economically. I pop four of these down. They're really close together. I'm surprised they'll actually work. But um, hey, um. That will make us a bit of money and um, yeah a little bit of passive income and yeah so that's that's kind of what we'll do for today I say next time out I think we will um, do a bit of stuff with the soil sampling further field prep so we say so we've got um, 3 and 5 and 22 to do um, that should be fairly straightforward to sort of achieve something um, we'll sort of run through these uh, these fields get them all prepped we'll do some soil sampling on those fields to kind of understand this precision farming system um, so we can get some data. Basically, it looks like you get these soil samples, and it it will tell you what sort of fertilizer you need or lime and so on. Um, so we'll definitely run that on all of these fields. Um, what we'll might do actually, I might do this now. Um, let's go for a quick drive, and whilst we kind of let's work on the, this, I want to take out this piece of land. Um, this sort of production space that is kind of down here. So there's this bit of production space that's down at the end here. I want to check this out because I want to decide if I want to buy it. The, the, the ones we bought are ready. I know we basically, th those are useful to us because um, uh, they were the same on the previous version of this map, the smaller version that I used to play. So I know, and I used those, and they were definitely very useful. This is that huge field, and it is absolutely massive. Um, that's going to make us a lot of money, I think. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant on that yet. There's a thing about crop rotations as well, I saw. Um, we need to, I need to look into that and figure out what that does. Um, but let's kind of get this... A bit of the map down here, so I've not been down this because this is all new. Stuff on the right here is all new to us. Um, so is this actually. Whoa. I'm going way too quickly. So these buildings are new and um, kind of handy to have down here. That little port section is uh, from the original map, I think. Um, this definitely is new. Um, we are going really quickly. Um, so much open grass area. It's kind of handy. We are really, really out here. 
have we got? So I'm kind of trying to find on the map. Um, got this kind of. So this is a. Uh, what we got here is great big plot of land. Oh yeah, this would be great. This would be a great place for. I don't know. Just any kind of production. We could probably put a ton of production on here. Um, we could have a good bit of production on there. Not sure what we do, but definitely could be something really useful built on here. Um, yeah, definitely. So, I think, I'm not sure if we'll buy that um, soon. But definitely, definitely looks like it could be an advantageous piece of land. Plus it comes with two fields as well. So you get that production. Uh, we also get that um, those land that land so we could maybe do some kind of integrated um, thing with the fields close by, provide resources for the production. Um, you know, they produce I don't know, potatoes or something like that or um, we can't obviously we can't grow cotton and stuff like that, but whatever uh, materials we produce, we could produce on those fields and that feeds those those factories. Um, so that's going to be quite interesting. Um, so trying not to uh, go too fast. It's going way too quickly. Then they stopped. Um, we will go up here, and we do have essentially because we bought that piece of that tract of land close to the farm we also have this tract of land up here this is also new um, pretty sure actually I think this bridge might have been there in the past because I do remember this port um, so we own this piece of land here as well so we can use this economically so that's cool so we can put something on here so with that, um, I think as we drive back to the farm, I think we'll end this episode here. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is my new gaming channel, and it is going to basically just be purely gaming content. Uh, we're going to be doing this farming sim let's play um, we will also maybe do some other gaming but essentially it is purely gaming content my other channel my airsoft channel uh, will be linked in the description um, the old farming sim content that was on that channel is going to stay on that channel um, but effectively new stuff will be on here uh, so please subscribe to the channel like the video if you like the video um, and we shall see you guys next time here on Fenton Forest.